In this video, I'm going to go over WordPress media and the tab that has the WordPress media section in the left sidebar. So the WordPress media section is a very easy to use section. And in this area, we can add images of all sizes, videos, and even audio files. So something important to cover is the resizing of images for website speed optimization. And there can be many different ways to do this. But resizing images is a good place to start and minimizing them. I'm also going to talk about a plugin that you can find at wpwithtom.com slash short pixel. That's all one word, short pixel. And on that site, you can optimize images as they load with their plugin that you can get through their site. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the process of adding different file types for now. So within the dashboard here, we can see on the left side, there's a media section or a tab here, and there's a library and add new. If we just click on media, we'll be brought to the library itself. It says media library at the top here. Here we can add new media files. So let's just click add new, and you have the option to either drag and drop, or you can actually select files and find them on your computer. So let's get started here by clicking select files, and then... I have two images here, one named Sunrise, one named Sunset. I'm just going to click Sunrise and upload that. And then I'm also going to upload an audio file right here. And I just made this one called Twinkle Sound. And I uploaded both of these files. So let's just say you wanted to add these files to a post. I'm going to get into posts here as we go along. But let's just go over to post. Now that we're here, add new. And we can add them from this area. And this is the post area, which I'm going to cover in a lot more depth here as we go through this. But let's just go in here and hit this plus for add block. And we can search for something like audio right here or an image up at the top. And then once you select that, you can go to media library. Go to media library over here. And then you go to twinkle sound. And then hit select to add that. And now it's part of our post. If I went and published this and hit publish again, the post is now live. It says right here, no title is now live. Now let's say we want to go over here and check if the sound works. You can see right here, there it is on our post. And let's play that sound. And there it is. It's just a quick little twinkle sound that sounds just like you would think. Now let's say you wanted to add a image in here we can do that as well so we can just go down here or right over here and we can click add image media library again and it's the only image within our media library we can click that hit select and let's just hit update if we went back over here to our front of the website we refreshed now you can see the images there as well so you can add images videos, and music and sounds. I actually have places where I get all of these type of things. There are sites for them. Now for images, I like to go to Unsplash, and that's unsplash.com. And there's free to use images on there. For videos, I just wanted to point out the video formats can be an MP4 format, M4V, MOV, WMV, AVI, and more. That's a whole mouthful to get all those types of formats out, but there's actually more than that. And for music, you can add things like MP3, M4A, OGG, and .wav files as well. So there's a lot of different options for the audio or the sounds as well, just like I have here. So it's really nice to have all these options that you can add to the media library here. I'm actually going to end up deleting this post. I'll go back here to Post, click this. I'll go to Bulk Actions, Move to Trash, or you can click Trash right there. Apply trash and delete permanently now if you refresh you're going to see that it's gone and it says nothing found here for our post so that's how you would add and delete a post but we'll get into more of that as we go through this for now i really wanted to just show you about the media section and show you how easy it is to just add and drag and drop different images or audio files or videos right into this section now the more of these files that you have it will start to slow down your website a little bit more as you add more and more media files to it but there are ways to combat that, and I'm going to go into some of those ways as we go into the plugins and move throughout this series here. So I hope this was helpful. In the next video here, we're going to go over the WordPress plugins and start to learn more about some of those that can actually help us 
reduce the file sizes, and do some other cool things to help our website improve the overall appearance. So let's dive into that one next.